Can you believe it, guys? The information that you have been receiving from multiple sources about the housing market, it can't crash, it can't go down, there's nothing going to happen because there is low inventory. Remember that? Everybody has been saying that. Even some of you guys in my comment section are saying, Orlando, there's no way that anything's gonna happen because look at the low inventory. The low inventory is gonna keep the housing market continuing to get 32, 33% year over year. <laughs> Now, every time I see those comments, obviously I know what's going on in the housing market. And I just look and I scratch my head and I go, well, who's going to continue to buy these houses when interest rates are continuing to rise? Who's going to continue to buy these houses when your buying power is being decreased? I don't know. Let, let's see. Well, now we have the data, guys, to show that the inventory is rising rising and rising. Housing supply is finally improving as high prices and rising interest rates weigh on sale. We do this, we do this. If you've been watching my videos, I've been saying for months and months and months, hey guys, look, I know you guys are pushing on this inventory kick, right? That there can't be any type of downgrade or downturn in the housing market because it's just so much, so much low inventory and so much demand. <laughs> but here's the question. Let's dive into why inventory is rising. It says one of the leanest housing markets in history might be putting on some fat. The supply of homes and sales could increase in the next few weeks. According to new data in April, inventory was 12% lower than in the same month last year. The smallest year over year declined since the end of 2019. Another reading for just the last week in April shows inventory down only about 3% from a year ago. Come on guys, it's rising. It is rising. The shift in supply is likely due to slower sales pace stemming from a recent rapid increase in mortgage rates, which have made expensive homes even pricier. The average rate on a 30 year fix has jumped more than 2.5% points since the start of the year. Now here's the thing, what do we think was going to happen? When you have 60 to 70% of lower mortgage applications, that is a huge significant cut in mortgage applications. People are not willing to pay almost 7%, 6 to 7%. It was 7%. It went down to 6%, but let's just use 6%, right? It's going to continue to go up. I'm telling you guys, we're going to hit double digits. We got four more rate increases, four more from the Fed, and we knew what happened with the first one, and we got four more of 0.5%. It's going to get in or get really close to double digits, but I am predicting double digits, guys. But here, here's the thing. When you have mortgage applications down by 60 to 70 percent, what do you think is going to happen? What do you think is going to happen when you are decreasing someone's buying power by 40 to 50 percent based on mortgage rate increases? People do not want to buy homes. And here's the thing. A seller does not want to sell his or her home knowing that they're going to jump right back into the pan <laughs> and pay six to seven percent interest rates depending on when you buy your home. Nobody wants to do that. So a lot of sellers are staying put and then you have a lot of buyers that are just jumping out of the market. Hence, leaving a bunch of properties on the market is going to be slower purchasing, and then you're gonna start seeing these price cuts which are already happening. New listings were down 0.9% in April compared with a year ago, and the number of active listings is down 67% from pre-pandemic levels. The growth in supply is being led by mid-sized family homes as fewer are going under contract, despite being in the spring market, a popular time for families to shop for houses. This is prime buying time and inventory is rising. People aren't out there looking for homes because of the mortgage rate increases. Now let's look at this chart here. There's a chart here of housing inventory in April year over year change. And you can see, look, it's going up, up in January 19. And then we started going down, down, down. You see January, 2021. And then you can see January 22. Look, we're up. We're back up. We were negative. We were negative, almost into that negative 60%. Now we're up. We're going up, up, and up. So what is happening? 
the interest rates are keeping people out of the market. How is that going to affect a housing crash? Well, when you keep our housing downturn, well, when things continue to get expensive, guys, when you have inflation that j barely is getting a scratch on it with interest rates, meaning you have to continue to raise interest rates until we can push down inflation, you're gonna have people not wanting to buy homes. That means houses will stay on the market longer. Right now, these are just mid-sized homes that are cranking up the market as far as inventory. But what happens when all of those levels, you have luxury or the high end, you have the middle and the low end. When all of those start having more inventory and start pushing up inventory, that's when you'll start seeing things really change with the housing market. And that's where I think the crash will come into effect no one will want to get into it. Inventory will sit on the market for longer because remember guys, there will be some people who have to sell. Maybe they got a new job, What? maybe they got X, Y, Z, but they are going to sell and things will sit on the market longer and longer and longer. And once you hit all three tiers, low, middle and high end, then that's where the trouble is. But also remember, as a homeowner currently, what options really do you have? You, you either can sell and take the hit and move on, or if you refinance, you're gonna have to pay ridiculous interest rates at six and a half to 7%. Nobody wants to do that. And then buyers right now have their buying power decreased and you may not be able to get that middle size home now. Maybe you can't afford it, based on DTI. So now you're gonna have to drop down to that lower tier. Most people will decide to wait and hope that rates come down and the inventory stays the same. But let me tell you what guys, the reason why inventory was so low is because we had basically free money. And when you have free money being loaned for homes, the demand is going to be higher. But this is starting to see some cracks in the housing market, guys. I want you to use this research to make the best decision that you possibly can. As I always say, this is not a doom and gloom. This is just to get you the information you need to make the best decision that you possibly can for yourself and your family. I'm gonna need you to watch this next video here. It will help you learn all about this crazy housing market and get into your first rental property. Check in the description below. I have a bunch of useful links of membership programs, get free credit reports and whatnot. See you on the next one. Thanks.